Hey there, Clive Jeffrey here from clivejeffrey.com coming to you today from my home office here in beautiful sunny St. Augustine, Florida. And in today's video, we're going to look at some innovative recruiting ideas, so stay tuned. Now before we get into discussing these ideas, I just think it's important for me to remind you that regardless of how many different ideas you know about recruiting, if you don't attempt to recruit people on a daily basis, then you're just not going to make any progress within your business. You've got to try and implement these different techniques and gradually, you know, with practice, you're going to find the ones that work best for you and they're going to sound very natural and you can incorporate them into your daily conversations with ease and your results in your business are going to skyrocket. So it's incredibly important that you do remember to actually implement what you're learning. So the first one that we're going to look at is one of my favorites actually and basically what it is is when you with a prospect and um, you've broken the ice with them, you've started building a bit of rapport and the, the trick here is to create a sense of urgency by the fact that you have to leave and that way you can um, not say too much because that's the biggest killer of any prospecting attempt is if you say too much on the first go and you literally you know you sink the, the sink your prospect prospecting attempt right from the get-go so what you want to do is say something like look you know um, I've actually got to run I've got to go pick up my kids or go to a meeting you name it and uh, but just throwing it out there, would you be at all open to a side project if it didn't interfere with what you're currently doing? Now, chances are they're going to say yes or what is it? Now, important to remember here just before we go on that being open is a critical word there. You don't say, are you interested in a side project? You say, are you open? Because psychologically, you know, people can say, oh, no, I'm not interested. But Everybody wants to be open with, you know, it's just a psychological trigger. So they normally will say yes or what is it? And that's when you can go again, look, sorry, look, as I mentioned, I've got to run, but give me your contact details and I promise I'll get in touch with you and share all the information. Now, again, another little psychological trigger here, the word promise invokes the impression to them that you are giving them something of value and they are benefiting from the fact that you're going to give them a call. So it's, it really puts you in a, uh, postured position by doing that so again very important so once you've got the information then you can maintain control you, know, you say thanks very much look I'll give you a call and we'll uh, organize a convenient time and you know you can maintain control of the, the conversation all the way through and likewise if you get a negative response ah, no, what is it you know you one of those scam uh, pyramid type things you can say look no, sorry, as I mentioned, look, I've got to run. Uh, it doesn't sound like you're open anyway, so no big deal, um, no problem. I'll talk to you around. Oh, talk to you later, I'll see you around. And you and you leave. So you've maintained your posture and um, you, know, you leave them stuttering and stammering and you just, just leave leave them be. And you know, you've, you've lost nothing. So that's one of my favorites and it's a very powerful way, you know, to go about your prospecting. The next one I want to to, it was basically a continuation of that, and that's keep asking questions. You know, if you find that someone is open to an opportunity, then you want to find out why they are open to it. So you know, it can be on your initial phone call back to them, or if you are going on in a conversation, you say, "Look, would you mind just telling me why at this current time you are open to looking at an opportunity?" You know, why do you need to earn extra money? And they might come back with, oh, I want to put my daughter through college or I'd like to retire my spouse or something along those lines. And that's basically giving you all the information you need to be able to recruit them. And then a very powerful line that you can come back to and say, well, that's also no, based on what you've told me, <laughs> very clever because now that you know, they've already told you this. So based on what you've told me, I recommend that you have a look at this video and or whatever tool that you have to point them to in your business because that's going to show you exactly how to earn some extra money to pay for your daughter's wedding retire your spouse or the like so very very powerful because they've already said that they're open they've given you the reason why and you've incorporated all that back into your reply so based on what you've told me i recommend you go check out this source here because it's going to no satisfy their pain point. So very, very powerful thing indeed. 
The next one we want to look at is the feel felt found method. Now this again is a, a very powerful one and you know it could be a situation where you you know you in your conversation and you know they say oh you know I've tried that before and it doesn't work they're talking about a network marketing op opportunity or something like that. You can say look I understand exactly how you feel. I felt the same way until I found and you go into an explanation. So what I normally like to say is like, I, if we're in a situation like that, I'd say, I know exactly how you feel. I felt the same way until I found a way to actually generate leads online for my network marketing business of people who are actually looking for opportunities. And that's hugely powerful. Now, just digress quickly. If you're in a situation like that where you want to generate leads for your network marketing company, then go ahead and click over here and I'll take you through to a training that I did on the subject and uh, you know, you'll get a lot of value from it. But just getting back to that, you know, so when you can come back to them with that feel felt found, they will be able to relate to you, you to them, and they'll want to you know, keep going a little bit further. So, you know, hopefully you've got some value from these uh, different ideas and you know you'll be able to implement them into your recruiting strategies you now if you have not already please go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I put up lots of different training here on a regular basis and that way you'll get notified when the new videos go up also you know I'd like to invite you to come over to my blog clivejeffrey.com and uh, check out all the different training that I've got there because I know it's going to be uh, help help it will help you grow your, your network marketing business. So thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next training.